हे गाइज वेलकम टू मेरा के द ट्राइव माई नेम इज आयुषी एंड आई एम ब्रिंगिंग यू दिस रीडिंग विच इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट वट इज योर पर्सन करेंटली थिंकिंग अबाउट यू द पर्सन ऑन योर माइंड वट आर दे थिंकिंग अबाउट यू सो वी हैव थ्री पाइल्स हियर दैट यू हैव टू चूज फ्रॉम एंड यूज योर इंट्यूशन टू चूज द पाइल एंड सो वी हैव द थ्री कार्ड्स हियर for assisting you further i will place this red jasper on the pile number 1 white opalite or white opal i guess on pile number 2 and uh, this is amethyst it's purple although it's not visible but it's purple in color so the amethyst amethyst here so you can choose from these three piles close your eyes and choose your pile so i think you have chosen now and we shall begin with pile number 1 so pile number 1 whoever chose this red jasper this is going to be the energy about what the person on your mind is thinking about you okay page of swords so this person wants to know a lot about you they are curious about you they might be checking your social media or they are thinking about uh, messaging you but they are looking for a a specific time when they can reach out to you they are looking for a moment where it would be conducive or appropriate for them to reach out to you they are observing your um, what you are doing right now and uh, what is your mood like so let's see just give me a moment guys okay so what is pile number 1's person feeling about them right now what is the energy of pile number 1's person towards pile number 2 right now bottom of the deck softly softly the tender touch so this person is a uh, coming towards you slowly they do not want to rush they do not want to mess it up is uh, what they are thinking that they do not want to land up in soup is what i'm feeling uh, they are quite cautious about how to approach you yes they do want to come towards you with some communication uh, bring in some stability bring in some uh, sense of you know uh, like they can provide for you they want to uh, be there for you and they want to communicate this to you they want to be very soft and tender with you they uh, they want to uh, pace their communication with you how they communicate with you has to be a certain way so they are thinking about they do not want to mess it up uh, so they are overthinking this is what i am getting this person is overthinking and uh, putting their themselves in a state of confusion because perhaps it's not required for them to think so much uh, simply maybe they just want to communicate to you about something that they want to confess sometimes they feel like confessing something yeah yeah so it's very passionate here and uh, power of attraction and the tender touch so they want to that you is what i'm getting and they are uh, emotional about it it's not like they are uh, they are devoid of emotion they are trying to manifest you in their life they want to create a perfect uh, harmony uh, and perfect uh, moment between the two of you which is heartfelt so what is the energy for pile 1 person for pile 1 what do they feel about pile 1 judgment 
they want a second chance with you there there must have been a certain heartbreak between the two of you certain things were said uh, like in, i can see something was said very passionately and now somebody is regretting it or somebody is just um, wanting a second chance here there is a certain confession that this person wants to make or there is a certain situation which is looming heavily on this person's mind they think that you are very sweet and loyal and you have uh, always known what's going on with them and uh, you have always been understanding you have always given them the support that they had wanted from you and uh, let me just check further will this person reach out to pile 1 will they move, make any action towards pile 1 again the ace of wands king of wands and the fool yes uh, i think they will uh, show some passion and action and they are trying to manifest uh, you definitely they are trying to manifest this meeting with you where they can uh, be freely uh, expressive to you about their passions and their ideas and whatever they are planning will they do something there is lot of passion here guys and uh, it will take some time for lot of passion leo aries sagittarius sagittarius again lot of fire lot of fire again fire so this person is thinking a lot about you they think there is lot of competition as well and for some of you there can be a three party situation uh which where this person is trying to overcome something they are needing courage to do that and to make that decision to make take that leap this is a card of betrayal at the bottom of the deck feeling very exhausted not being able to make that decision six of one they want to appear uh, they want to be victorious in this they want to win you over they want to establish certain sort of um justice balance here so what are the feelings of pile number 1 towards pile number pile number 1 person towards pile number 1 so unknown this is a three party situation for some of you this uh, can be a hidden relationship where the there are kids also involved but you are this person's happiness and there has to be certain sort of transformation death ending that needs to happen here there is happiness and ace of pen this person wishes that if what if they could offer you certain sort of commitment certain sort of family so certain, certain sort of happiness and uh, they want to be victorious with you lot of passion in this reading uh, which is uh, to a point where this person really 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 wishes to start something passionate with you i got lot of uh, aces like ace of wands choice and i also got ace of pentacles um so there is definitely definitely past life connection with this person and uh, that you can also pick up so you guys have manifested each other into your life you know respectively so what should be uh, your advice and what should you do what should you do what is the advice for pile number 1 in this situation ace of pentacles again so guys you need to ground yourself you need to start something and uh, two knight cards here um, this is a fresh start that i am getting here and be victorious uh, you will start something and you have to shine uh, your light you have to manifest something like emotional abundance and something related to creativity 
because there is a cycle closing in your life you'll have to either end this chapter with this person because you realize that this is not going to give you everything that you want so uh, gain certain skills and uh, wait for this person to reach out because right now i don't think they are able to uh, give you or reach out to you in the manner that you wish them to reach out to you so there is lot of success in store for you there can be some uh, victory coming your way if you allow a certain chapter to close so that was your reading pile number 1 with that i hope this reading resonated with you in case it did please do drop me a comment and let me know i would love to read and know about it so see you again guys bye bye so with that we move to pile number 2 so pile number 2 this is your white opalite and you have the ace of cups coming up right away uh about your person's feeling towards you which is an amazing energy i am getting lot of lot of love overflowing lot of um unconditional love overflowing here like such a beautiful card here new love abundance of it major fulfillment it's as if like you have found your true match your partner whatever that you were looking for for emotional fulfillment is what this person is feeling so let's see how is pile number 2's person feeling for pile number 2 how is pile number 2 person feeling for pile number 2 how is pile number 2's person feeling for pile number 2 two cards are coming out visions of life beyond death against the grain seeing the true you this person feels that you have a past life connection so this person definitely sees you as somebody who has uh, achieved a lot against um difficult situations you know you have fought through difficult times and been just your true self you have not um uh, been uh adulterated or you can say tainted with uh with whatever is around you or whatever the things could have influenced you you are uninfluenced that's and this person can see the true you whatever that you truly are and they can see that you have followed your own path and you are a person who is very focused on self awareness and reflecting on your life and who you are and uh, you are un inhibited is what i am picking up is something that this person recognizes and, and this person also sees you as somebody who is quite emotional and uh, somebody who is quite deep in their thought and serious to some extent so how does the person of pile 2 feel about pile 2 you have nine of swords here coming out and uh, so maybe they see you as somebody who knows the truth and in spite of knowing the truth closes their eyes to uh uh the truth because they are very much caught up in their overthinking and over analyzing so king of pentacles knight of wands Two of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Magician, Page of Cups. So maybe this person is thinking too much about how they how can they come towards you in what way they should present themselves uh, towards you. Should they be 
uh, emotional sh should they be passionate should they offer you something um, material uh, like stability tangible like a husband or um, they are still trying to balance and they are still trying to um, be in a zone where they are not sure about what role they have to play in their li in your life and uh, there can be a situation which is heartbreaking for you where you feel that uh, uh, because this person is not so sure uh, which which might be breaking your heart basically there can be a three party situation for some of you not all of you please uh, uh, so yes this person can be uh, feeling that like they have to uh, come clean they don't think that they are uh, doing justice to you here yeah, they have to present themselves fully in front of you they'll have to heal themselves before they come towards you they can see that uh, how misleading they can be and uh, uh, because of that they are do uh, like they are switching their personalities uh, and uh, which might be confusing you and making you quite irritated with them and because you are so self aware this person is feeling like this person can also see what i lack so they are probably feeling that they cannot be um, uh, there uh, they cannot trick you this person is uh, with regards to marriage there is some sadness maybe the topic of marriage is bringing some sadness or this person is uh, married with somebody else and that's the cause of pain here but still this person has lot of love for you so the person is not able to do much because uh, they are not able to give you anything uh, concrete because um, it's a hidden um, something and you already know why this person is not going to uh, be very um, <sighs> open towards you what does this person feel about pile 2 what do their person feel about pile 2 how are they feeling about them king of cups two of cups this person truly loves you but there is something unknown there is something from past birth and this person doesn't want to give you up because they find you very alluring very um, beautiful very they, they 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 are in love with you basically and uh, Uh, nothing can you know their emotions are all for you like they if they they are married they their body is there but they are truly in love with you uh, i can see it from the cards like lot of water a lot of um, emotions are coming up for this person and this person is basically uh, having to change their personality shift their personality because uh, they don't know how to come towards you what role to play in your life and they have work and uh, to take care of as well they want to invest in this uh, relationship but they know that they'll have to end something to have something with you they have lot of responsibilities and uh, that's what uh, is coming up here so what should you do in this situation what should you do in this situation so what should you do regarding this what is the advice for you page of wands high priestess you already know that you'll have to take it lightly you already know that you'll have to uh, keep your energies um, 
limited uh, keep it flirtatious uh, heal yourself this person is also going through some healing with you and you are also going through some healing and there is this moon card where you have to keep this hidden the heartbreak hidden you have to uh, uh, there is a lot of emotions that's coming up for you and uh, you're not able to share it with somebody i guess and uh, look for something concrete you know uh, there is make a space for something um, which is acceptable which is not causing a lot of fear in you heal from a situation which is um, um, you want recognition and uh, you want to be at ease you want to express your emotions be sweet and loving but the cards are telling you that uh, you have ace of cups coming up again that you have to make a space for new love be courageous about it and do not be um, in a, a mood of indecision and do not cheat yourself in a sense that uh, it is asking you to move away from the situation which is not serving you to something that will serve you something that will give you the love that you truly deserve in your life and do not let your emotions cloud you do not let your fears cloud you there is somebody who is uh, in a loving um, bond with you somebody make a space for somebody who can come in for you uh, yes you will have to go through this heartbreak in order to get uh, to this a uh, phase where you are uh, married or stable at least stable with someone mm, yeah you will have to uh, be very um, mindful of what you have to uh, save there is something about you that you are not saving you are just letting your energy go to uh, places where you might be feeling drained and not fulfilled so be very mindful of where you are putting your energy uh, and how you are utilizing your resources currently so if you have a lot of uh, or little resource please be mindful of how you are utilizing those resources so what about this person will they reach out to you will this person reach out to pile to uh this person will reach out but it won't be something emotional they will hide their feelings and you will hide your feelings and you they might even feel the, that you will reject them so you are moving on is what i am feeling here like you will have to be courageous and let go of whatever you feel for this person um keep it hidden so that uh, you can move towards the new path this is taking a new journey taking on a new path and it will require you a lot of courage a lot of courage it's it's like you know that it's time for you to go even if you do not know where you have to go so because you know that you have kept your patience with the situation for way too long and you haven't had any victory here so for your victory you have to move away you have to uh, look away from this person and come into your full power and potential i'm also getting that uh, mm, this will be a slow shift you'll have to make small shift every day to move away from this situation reject because this is unfulfilling it is keeping you trapped it is keeping you drained heal from this situation um slowly yeah courage card again and change your perspective about this situation otherwise you will stay stuck here uh, and it will not serve you guys like i am truly telling you like this is not going to serve you if you will close your eyes and refuse to see that something better is there out for you which is only yours and which can serve you in a better way so you have to start investing in your own happiness um, not just something that uh, you got into because of your karmic cycle and that so what is the advice for pile number 2 
yes give yourself a second chance give your happiness a second chance make this decision that you are not able to make yes you are not making this decision delaying the decision which is keeping you trapped and in lot of fear you might have lot of uh, abandonment uh, issues coming up lot of pain that you will have to process in order to leave the situation but if you truly know yourself you know that you can do this and you deserve better uh, against the grain is telling me that it will be tough to move away but it's worth it this ace of cups is worth it yes your knight of cups will come in only when you will make a space for this person knight of wands coming up again so there are already people trying to uh, you know get your attention but you are pushing them away so please give them some chance guys is what is the advice for you i hope this reading was helpful for you pile number 2 and uh, if it resonated please drop me a comment it would mean so much to me to hear from you and uh, it will help me do more readings like this uh, so i hope you will uh, like the uh, the video subscribe to my channel and drop me a comment for uh, helping me grow thank you guys with that we'll move on to pile number 3 so pile number 3 let me just note down the timing so pile number 3 with this pile number 3 uh, we have the amethyst here that you have chosen and let's see what's coming up for you what does your person feel about you what are their feelings for you so this person has the moon card here so they can be cancer energy they are uh, probably truly emotional about you in fact a little bit fearful and um, doubtful and mystery there is some mystery about you that this person feels there is something hidden about you or this uh, situation maybe this relationship is something that they are still trying to figure out whatever that they have with you so let's see what does the person for pile number 3 feel for them how do they feel for pile number 3 what do the person feel for them the devil energy the fool the three of wands and the king of pentacles the moon card again but this time it is in reverse although i do not do reversals but it seems that uh fear will subside this person will know the true you but uh let's see but they can't give you much um they will how do they feel about you this person is um this person can be a father of your child this message is for somebody here this person can be a father of your child and this person can be uh, going through a lot of competition in their life and what they feel here is that um that they have to trust the situation here and take the plunge and they will have to uh, they are waiting for something to happen here but they know that emotionally this 
situation is not going to be fulfilling and materially they'll have to uh, plant some seeds here in a sense that they'll have to invest here uh, and they will do it slowly like little by little they might have some uh, money but they might not invest it all in one go because they are they are being patient they are also trying to heal themselves or they that is what they feel for you that you are trying to heal yourself and you are being very patient with them and um they certainly feel certain pull towards you but it's uh, almost like um, when they are in something which they cannot control they don't have that control over them but they try to maintain balance this person is not able to decide they are indecisive they are they are not sure person has some um, role to play in society i guess and they are quite powerful person they can be married already to somebody or to you but um, they are wanting to hide from this um, equation and they are trying to be um, understanding of what this has gotten me into is it something that i want they are reconsidering certain certain things here they can be here only logically not emotionally guys this is a three party situation for some of you and uh, they can be attracted to a uh, person who is sort of giving them a headache because they have a family situation going on here and uh, yes three of swords again so it gives them lot of pain because they can't do much they can't do much just one second for those of you for whom this is not a three party situation i'll have to uh, do this differently i'll try once again So, what does pile number three person feels for pile number three? For pile number three, what do their person feel for them? this person has ended this thing guys this person has moved on whoever you are asking about they are looking at the situation quite logically they do not want to invest emotion here in the situation i know this can be triggering for some of you for this person they have gone through certain transformation or you have gone through certain transformation and they know that you have moved on and uh, they uh, they know they can see it from your perspective how you are also feeling and uh, things are not moving this is somebody who is independent alone uh, doing things all by themselves they are uh, trying to start something slowly something uh, of their own uh, this can be you they see you as somebody who is uh, self made and starting something of uh, their own somebody who is inspiring passionate somebody who is bringing lot of light and energy to their project and life around them somebody who is focused on self self love self interest and uh, their own happiness somebody who has lot of wishes um, and ideas to invest in this person is definitely uh, considering where to invest how to invest 
where to put my money where to put my time where to put my ideas um who to, yes this person is definitely um they see you as somebody who is focused on their long term goals and potential and uh, what is going to bring them uh, the joy that they are seeking something that uh, is uh, somebody who is basically uh, whole whole somebody is uh, who's um the word here is somebody who is balanced grounded relaxed providing um somebody who is sitting pretty somebody who has broken the uh, dirty cycle dirty uh, dark side somebody who has turned that side what is this moon card here and the strength so this person is seeing how you will gather courage to start again and find happiness what are your ideas fantasies options how are you taking this how are you building your foundations from scratch and who will you choose as your ideal partner who are you manifesting who are you making space for in your life what are you researching about on internet who are you talking to and who is your soulmate so one last card here what is yes where are you what are you learning yes this person probably knows that you are going through a tough time what is pile number 3 person feel for pile number 3 they want to flirt with you but that's not a very big energy guys that's not a very promising energy right the world wants to be written and focus on the light like i said what light are you bringing in listening for truth what truth are you listening to so basically this person wants to uh, or how they see is the situation is that what are you going to do next in your life what is going to bring you the happiness maybe this person is just very 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 interested in what you are going to do about your life somebody who is just focused what is going to uh, you know catch your fantasy next so that was your energy pile number 3 i hope it resonated in case it did please drop me a comment and let me know that uh, this reading resonated with you and uh, in case you want to follow more of my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, i'll see you again guys take care